What is going on everybody? Tech3ZAST here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the original Dead Space for PC on your Android device. Now in this demonstration I am using the Odin 2 Pro. Now with that being said let's get started. So firstly we need to have the game transferred to our Android device and by default it needs to be in the download folder. So here I have the game Dead Space and it is in the extracted format and that is because I installed the game on my PC then copied the installation folder to my Android device. So next we need to download WinLater and I will leave a link in the description. Now I'm just going to scroll down and it just tells you how to install it. There's also other useful tips if some games don't work you can try some of the uh, recommendations here. But uh, I'm just going to go up now because this game in particular works pretty much straightforward. So we're going to go up to releases, tap on win later. Now at the time of making this video, version 8.0 is the latest version. And here you can see some of the fixes and improvements. So under assets, we need to download the APK. I've got it already downloaded, so I'm not going to download it here. I'm just going to go back to my uh, file browser and go right to the bottom and then install the APK as you would do normally with any other app. So I'm going to launch it now and give it permissions to access the folders and here it's going to install system files. It takes just under 20 seconds so I'm just going to speed up the video here. So once that is done there is an option on the left hand side. We don't need to go into that because this game doesn't need a lot of changes here. So we're going to tap on the plus icon. Now name container one, you can change it to dead space or whatever. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it as container one. Next we have screen size. So the screen resolution, we can go up to 1080p, but I'm going to leave it at the default 1280 by 720. Then we've got turnip driver. And if you click on the icon, you can change the different versions as you can see here. I'm just going to scroll down a bit. We can enable the FPS here, but I'm going to leave it disabled and I'll show you a different way to do that. So we're going to go to environmental variables and tap on add and then type in the following in the uppercase. So that is DXVK and underscore HUD. I'm going to tap on enter to go to the next box and just type in FPS. And tap on OK. So here we have the new option here. So by default we've got FPS. We can also enable device info. That will give us a lot more information but it will take up a lot more screen estate. So here you can see all the other options available. But I'm just going to select GPU load and tap on the blue check mark. And that will bring us to the containers page. So just tap on the play icon and win later will launch. So once here this folder will open automatically. Now to go to our download folder we need to double tap on drive D and here you can see dead space. So I'm going to go into that then scroll all the way to the bottom so I can go to the exe file as you can see here. Now before I launch it I want to show you some options. So I'm going to swipe to the left then go to input controls and it says disabled. So if we tap here and then go to virtual gamepad and tap on OK. We can see the on-screen virtual keypad. Let me just minimize that. And as you can see all of these just work. And again I'm just going to swipe out to the left input controls and this time I'm going to go to RTS OK and this is basically the keyboard as you can see here. All right I'm just going to bring the folder up again Then I'm going to select dead space. So I'm going to have to scroll down again. Now before launching the game, I'm going to tap on MRB, basically mouse right button, then create shortcut. And then we can exit win later. Then tap on the top left icon, shortcuts. And here you can see we've got dead space and basically launch game from there instead of going manually into the folders. 
All right, so we're going to start up the game. And as you can see, it is working. We've got the language selection here. So I'm just going to speed up the video slightly here so we can get to the main option. Okay, so once here, we're going to go to options, then visuals, then resolution. We're going to tap to the right, which will give us our max resolution. And we're going to accept that, then back out, and then go into new game. So once again, I'm going to speed up the video here to skip all of the intro. Now you might face this uh, problem that I'm seeing here. So basically the player Isaac just looks up automatically. I'm not sure if this is because I'm using the Odin 2. And as you can see, it is very annoying. It's pretty much unplayable, but not to worry. There is a fix for that, which I'll show you now. So what we need to do is go to our containers and launch WinLater. So what we have to do is basically transfer a text file called joypad.txt and I'll show you what that looks like here. So here it is and basically all the inputs equal to none. This is a fix that I found online and I will leave a link to that in the description. So what we need to do is select the file then tap on copy then we're going to go to the C drive then users X user then documents electronic arts dead space and then tap on paste and here there is another file this is basically the save file you can choose to copy and back that up somewhere if you wish so what we need to do next is exit win later then tap on the icon on the left, go to shortcuts and launch our game. And here you can see the save file is working perfectly. Okay, now we're in game. And as you can see, it is not looking up automatically. I'm doing everything normally. The controllers are working absolutely perfect right now. All right, so that does it for this video. This is basically how you play the original Dead Space on your Android device. Now, if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.